Hey, say YouTube, it's your boy David Made Tony back again with another video for y'all, man. You feel me? In today's video, I'm coming at y'all with a cool little hoodie collection, man. You feel me? Because it's like every time I pop out on a gram or I pop out in public, everybody be like, where you get that from? 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 Like, bro, get off my dick, bro. Like, but yeah, uh, I figured why not answer everybody's questions and turn it into a vid, man. At the end of the day, we, but we all got to eat, bro. So, yeah, why not turn it into a cool little vid? So, I'm going to show y'all my sneaker. I said sneaker collection. What the fuck? I'm going to show y'all my hoodie collection. But before we get into that, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the gang, to the family. You feel me? Yeah. You know the drill, bruh. Subscribe and like the video or your girlfriend gonna break up with you. Without further ado, I ain't gonna talk y'all heads off. Let's get into these hoodies. I will never change on my game, no I won't. And I just left the white cell start by the Saint Laurent. So boom, starting off with the first hoodie. We got one of my cool little samples. Well, first of all, starting off with the first hoodie, we got this hoodie that I got on right now. I ain't gonna lie, I just got this hoodie today. I was like, bro, I just need a cool little plain all black hoodie so I can just wear it like every day. So cool little all black hoodie, cut the little slits in it. My Virgil shit, man, you feel me? But bro, I ain't gonna lie, doing these little slits right here caused me a whole lot of trouble, but we gonna get into that a little bit later. Y'all gonna see, y'all gonna see. But yeah, got this all black hoodie I cop today. Just want some cool shit, bro. I just needed an all black hoodie. Cause like, all my hoodies that I be copping, I be using for my brand and shit. But yeah, cool little all black hoodie. Nothing too much. Some simple calm shit that you can just wear with anything. But yeah, next hoodie we got is, speaking of like, speaking of my brand, like samples, we got this one right here. Bro, this one, this hoodie right here, this colorway is like hella funny, bro. So like, boom, cool little story time. So one day I was like, as y'all know, I'm an influencer and I do music. I was like, y'all know like TikTok is like the main like wave right now. So, well, it's been the main wave, but I was like, bro, I need to take my TikTok serious and start posting. Yeah, so I was like, I'm gonna start off doing fits. And these bad boys right here that I got on my feet. So I had just copped these, right? These are five foot, bro. Like, these are so hard. But apparently, some people thought otherwise. So, yeah, I was like, I showed my little bro, Glow 10. Glow 10, if you're watching this, bro. Yeah, dude. this 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 came from you. So my little bro glow ten, I showed him cause like everything that I be copping, I be showing, I be like, you think these five shit like that. So I showed him. He was like, bro, those are. Uh, he was like, those are probably the worst crops. You probably can't pull no fits off with them. They ugly. This, that, and the third. So I was like, Are you on my dick? Huh? Are you on my dick? Why? Are you on my dick? Why? Why you on my dick? That's low key a cool TikTok idea, I ain't gonna lie. So I paired the Crocs up with this and some all black stacked jeans. And the TikTok went fucking crazy, bro. Like, I'm talking about like crazy, but like people was on my ass. It was like, boom, you got them two different color greens. Your Crocs fly, your fit fly, your Crocs ugly. It was like, just criticism, bro. Like, positive criticism. Like, you know how that you know how it go. But yeah, got a lot of positive feedback, a lot of negative. TikTok ended up blowing up for real. 
Got a little bit of traction. And yeah. This hoodie, low key, is legendary, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So, all y'all in the TikTok comments talking shit. Y'all gave me some clout, so I ain't tripping. You feel me? This next hoodie is what I was talking about earlier when I said the slits low key got me a little. The slits low key fucked me up a little bit. So, alright, as y'all know, well, if you know me, then you know. But, like, So Fago is like my favorite artist right now, besides me, of course. Duh. But, yeah, So Fago is my favorite artist. Pink Hearts 5. All y'all niggas out there hating. Y'all trip. Pink Hearts was muy bien. I think I said that right. Muy bien? Yeah. I think so. But, alright, so, if y'all are OG, y'all know when I got this hoodie. At the Trip at Night tour, you feel me? The Sofago and Trippy Red tour. Got the spider with the tour dates. I'll show y'all the back. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see these slits right here. Don't look, don't look too bad. You feel me? But the first time I tried to try it, this how we, this how we. <laughs> <laughs> bro, seeing this on camera is crazy, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. But as you can see, trying the slits on here, I cut too far. I cut too far down, and this is what the outcome was. I can't keep showing it. Like, it was but yeah, that's that. That's a so Fago hoodie. But don't worry. I got another. I got got another Fago hoodie on the way. Don't worry about it. But yeah. Uh trip at night tour hoodie. If y'all OG, y'all know when I got that hoodie. Like, we went to the Trip at Night tour. She was lit. That was my first concert. Actually, for real. So that hoodie is legendary. Yeah, that was my first concert. Got that hoodie. And yeah. But that shit breaks my heart that I did that. I don't even know why I did that. Keep it a whole thing with you. I was just, I was probably just bored. But, yeah. On to the next piece, man. Next piece we got... A hoodie from one of my favorite streetwear brands. My favorite, one of my favorite streetwear, streetwear brands, Icon Worldwide. You feel me? The Biker Club Edition hoodie. Got the flames right here. And got the flames right here. You feel me? Then on the hood, it says Icon. You feel me? This is really like one of my, that's really one of my favorite streetwear brands. You feel me? Because they ship fast keep you updated with your shipping and like when it comes to me bro like i'm hella impatient when it comes to clothes i'm just hella impatient in general so like knowing that like they be with you through your tracking process and like when your clothes is being made and shit like them contacting you and keeping you updated is like top tier so that's why i fuck with them ah! next piece we got this piece like it's low key, like, how can I put it? This shit low key, how can I put this? This shit low key mean a lot to me. And like, y'all know, I'ma just show y'all. This, this piece mean a lot to me. We got Cozy season two, full zip, man, you feel me? So, cool little, Cool little backstory. Hold on, let me show y'all. Got the cozy right here with the rhinestones. And got the bat wings on the back. So first, this is my first expensive, like, this is my first expensive piece. And this was also my first streetwear piece. And like, this was the first piece I caught when I really started finding myself with like, fashion and shit and like knowing how I really wanted to dress and shit so yeah this was undeniable this is like I think I spent my my last hundred dollars I had from like my birthday or something on this job. like it was irresistible and like next day I went to the mall rhinestones was busting hella compliments like this shit is just type shit next piece we got is 
this green grease hoodie that my brother had got for me when he went to Greece. You feel me? AKA, I be calling this the, the Green Bottega. The Green Bottega. Green Bottega hoodie. You feel me? Shit, hot. Bro, it's like. Shit like this, like simple shit like this, be so, be so fire, bruh. Like, you can't tell me this hoodie ain't fire. Like, you put a cool little fit together with these, bro. Like, some flare pants with some, with the green, with some green bow tape, bro. Like, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Like, you can't tell me this shit ain't fire. Wait till I pop out with a fit with this, bro. It's going to break the internet, I promise you. But, yeah, that shit. Shit like uh green grease study on to the next piece. Piece we got this is probably the most generic so you're gonna see in this little collection. Bro, we got a cool little Nike Tech, all black Nike Tech. You feel me? Y'all seen these, so it ain't really too much to say about the about a Nike Tech. Like everybody has a Nike Tech. If you don't have a Nike Tech, bro, like what are you doing, bro? Like, <laughs> I'm telling you, literally, everybody has a Nike Tech. And, bro, like, this is my opinion on having a Nike Tech, bro. Like, in my opinion, bro, I don't think it's worth it. Other people might think otherwise, but really, bro, I don't think it's worth it. Because you literally paying 120 for the jacket, then 110 for the pants. Bro, it's not even worth it. You, you better off just getting a cool little regular Nike hoodie and some sweats, bro. I don't know, that's just that's just me. I ain't gonna lie. I honestly cop the Nike Tech to hop on the wave and see what the heck about. I admit it, bro. I admit it. I ain't gonna cap. I just I just hop hopped on the wave and see what the heck about. But yeah. Cool little Nike Tech. Not it's really not too much to say, bro. You you see these everywhere. I bet you if you go if you go outside right now, I bet you you gonna see somebody with a Nike Tech. Bro, like they're everywhere, bro. I'm telling you. Next piece we got is this cool, more life fashion over hoodie. Feel me? Says more life, and it says let us live with the dove and the lightning bolts. You feel me? Shit, cool. I found this. I found this on Instagram. I ain't gonna lie. I seen it on Instagram. Somebody posted a picture with it on. I was like, that shit hard. I never had a all red hoodie before. I know I could drip it because red is my, one of my favorite colors. So, it's undeniable. Why not? So, yeah. Cool little more life, lady. I'm trying to speed the process up so I don't keep y'all too long. Next piece we got is... We got another little sample from my brand. You feel me? But I think this, this one right here is going to be like the official font. And like everything I go with. Real quick, until I start dropping, it's gonna be like the official jump. We got the maid, then it says me, greater than them. And it says choose wisely. Yeah, like that shit fire as fuck. I'm gonna show you shit. Y'all let me know if I should drop, bro. Y'all let me know if y'all want one in the comments. Let me know if I should do like personal orders or like throw up a little sale shit. Cause I do whatever y'all want. I remember back then, back in my my uh, golden ages of YouTube, I kept saying I was gonna do merch. So it's finally in the work. See, y'all really be think, y'all really be thinking I be capping, but I really be remembering. Like, everything is just a process. On to the next piece, we got another one of the little samples, bro. Like I made a lot of these because I could not come up with like what I really wanted to drop or go with for my brand, but. I think it's like the second one I made. Second? Yeah, it's like the second one I made. We got the gray, red, and black colorway. As you can see with a different font. Then it says, uh, don't get caught in the lifestyle. Then on the back, we just got the black web. You feel me? I don't know. This was, when I posted on the gram, that was the colorway everybody was going crazy for. So, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Next piece we got is a piece from the brand Z Studios, which is, yeah, Z Studios. As you can see, it's a cool little zip up with a puff print. I'm a very geek individual. 
but as y'all can see like individual part is spelled like weird to show like that you geek bro like that really went over niggas head bro like that shit hard with the puff print then at the bottom it says studios shit cool bro this shit hard as fuck like the first time they dropped i missed it but i made sure when they restarted i was doing it trying to say y'all go shop z studios shit fire as fuck and shit ain't even take long to get here yeah that's that z studios i'm a very geeked in the visual y'all go shop on to the next piece All right next piece we got another one of my favorite streetwear brands uh yeah another one of my favorite streetwear brands we got brotherly love we got this brotherly love full zip you feel me with the puff print you feel me this is what really got me though like it's like a star but it's made into a web i don't know if y'all can see that but yeah this shit hard as fuck that shit fly and then on the back, we got the brotherly love. Then as y'all can see, the little zipper is a, is a spider web. But yeah. Brotherly love. Full zip. Yeah. Double shot, brotherly love. So on to the next piece. As I told y'all before, like this brand is like. I love this brand so much, but we got another icon worldwide hoodie. You feel me? The green, the cream colorway. So this, this is the first piece I caught from them. But yeah, icon worldwide hoodie. Y'all go shop icon worldwide, man. I'm trying to tell you, they gonna get y'all right. So yeah, on to the next piece. Next piece we got is. Bro, y'all gonna, gonna look at this hoodie. Y'all gonna be like, bro, where the fuck did this nigga get this shit? Bro, you would think that I would I would have got this shit from like a site from Instagram or something, bro. But I kid y'all not, I literally walked into a shoe store called Shoe City. I don't even know if that's like public everywhere else, but like in the DMV, we got this shoe store called Shoe City. I don't know if like y'all seen this anywhere else, but this is where I got mine from. We got this hoodie right here. This shit's so hard, bro. Like, just look at it. You would think this some shit from, like, Instagram or something, bro. Got the puff print. Like, this shit is crazy. Like, the material on this is so hard, bro. Like, look at the, look at the details. Right here, we got the dice. Then, look at the back, fool. Like, the back is crazy. That shit be so hard, bro. Come back, bitch. Like, this shit hard. And it's quality. Like, the material is heavenly, bro. Like, next hoodie we got is... We got one of my favorite... One of my favorite hoodies in, my, in this whole collection, bro. We got... We got this... Ab black Abnormal Clothing Rhinestone hoodie. You feel me? With the rhinestones all over that jump. Busting down, ain't gonna lie, but, yeah, the back, it says we are not the same, that's the part that really got me, bro, is the we are not the same, with the fat ass A in the middle, but yeah, this shit hard as fuck, and it's fucking cropped at the bottom, that's how I like it, I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, not too much to say, my hoodies is basic for real, but you can't lie, they be basic, but they be flat at the same time, you feel me? But yeah, black, abnormal clothing hoodie. Y'all go shop. I copped that off a of restock too. I ain't gonna lie, cause I think when they when they dropped it, I ain't even know about it. I found out about this brand from TikTok. I'm not even gonna hold. You. But yeah, abnormal clothing, black rhinestone hoodie. Shit fire as fuck. One of my favorite hoodies in my collection. But on to the next. Piece. This next piece we got, this is like my most recent pickup and shit. You feel me? Because, like, as I told you, I'm starting to get like deep. I'm starting to get more into fashion and dressing. So, 
I'm just trying new shit out. I never thought I had one of these, even though I always seen them before. But like, I just thought it wasn't me. But like, I ain't gonna lie. It might be me, bro. I ain't gonna cap. But we got a varsity jacket from Boohoo, man. You feel me? Shit go crazy, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Got the leather right here with the patches. Shit is hard as fuck. Bag of that junk. Go crazy, bro. But I'm trying to tell you, wait until I pop out a fit with that. Oh my God. I'm shutting down the internet. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, cool little varsity jacket from Boohoo, man. Uh, speaking of varsity jackets, we got one more. We got another varsity jacket. We got another varsity jacket from Boohoo, man. You feel me? Y'all go shop Boohoo, man. Y'all, bro, y'all sponsor me, bro. Like, come on, bro. We got another varsity jacket from Boohoo, man. Feel me? This one is all puff printed all the way around. You feel me? You got the stars with the heart right there. Then got the, the stars on the sleeve and the puff print. You feel me? We got the fat ass heart and the stars on the back. It says official worldwide. You feel me? Shit, bye. I wore that jump on Thanksgiving. That's when I. When I finally, when I put, when I put it on, that's when I realized I'm really, I'm really that nigga. Like, I could really pull anything off, bro. I'm him, I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm, I'm him, Duncan. Like, I had the varsity jacket on with the rip. <laughs> oh my God, bro. Sometimes it makes me emotional, like, how good I can just dress, bro. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like, shit. Shit be scaring me sometimes, bro. Shit be scaring me. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Next piece we got. We in the, we in the top three. You made it to the top three. If you made it to the top three, man, hit that subscribe button. Let me know y'all favorite piece so far. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all favorite pieces might be within this top three. I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah. Made it to the last three. So, this next piece is a full zip from the brand Love Nobody. You feel me? Full zip. We got the love on this side, nobody on that side. People ain't even know what the abbreviation for this was, but it's obviously the nobody. Like, come on. But, we got the red heart at the top. Y'all go shop with Love Nobody. They show love on this jump, too. You feel me? Day five, day shipping, not even long. Yeah, love nobody. Pulls it. I ain't gonna lie, I got put on it this because I was watching, uh, what is it called? A P.O. box opening. And I seen that, I was like, oh, that's fly. And I need more full zips in my collection. So I was like, this is a no brainer. So, yeah, next piece, this probably like, this piece is so crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> This piece is fire as fuck, bro. So, next piece we got is a full zip from the brand, Introvert Studios. You feel me? As you can see, on the zipper, it got the eye right there. Then it got the introvert in the inside, on the tag. But I forgot this nigga name, bro. He, I know he's from a cartoon, bro, but I, I can't even think what cartoon this nigga from, bro. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comment section cause it's like two in the morning, bruh. I'm filming this at like two in the morning. Like my brain not even functioning correctly. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. But yeah, uh, y'all might think this cool, but bro, it's cool. Like you might think this shit simple, but the best part about it, you might, until I do this shit right here, bring out the bunny ears. Yeah, now I got your attention. Then the eyes. The eyes. Now I have your attention. Like, come on now. Like, bro. This shit hard, bro. Bro, this, like the bunny ears, bro. Like, I ain't never seen no shit like that before. Like, that shit is top of the line. Like, that shit beautiful. 
on to the final piece. Final piece we got is, wait, before we get to this final piece, let's get a cool little moment of silence for the GOAT, the fashion legend himself, Virgil, man, you feel me? One of the, I think, yeah, I think he's the best black clothing, like, creator, bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like, with the fashion shit, he, like, top of the line with this shit, bro. Like, he took this shit to a whole different level. Like, yeah, but let's have a moment of silence for Virgil, man, you feel me? Because that's him and, him and Kanye when it comes to fashion. It's like, them, like, my two biggest inspirations, I ain't gonna lie. But, yeah, let's have a moment of silence for Virgil, man, you feel me? Before we get into this last piece. So... Last piece we got is this. This is my first tapestry hoodie. And it's from the brand crude.co. We got the Virgil crude.co tapestry hoodie, man. You feel me? Bro, y'all see how Virgil got the slits, bro? That's why I got this shit. Like, this shit fire. But yeah, this shit is so beautiful. Like, I have not worn this yet at all, bro. Like, I'm waiting for the perfect time to wear this. And like when I wear it, I don't want to disappoint. That's why I haven't wore it yet. But this shit is so beautiful, bro. Got Virgil on the front. Then we got the people in the background. You feel me? Then on the back, on the back of that zone, it says Virgil was here. Then it says crude in parentheses. With the people in the back as well. Shit is beautiful, bro. I wanna wear this so bad, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I might wear it on Christmas. Maybe. Maybe. Christmas or New Year's, one of those two. But, yeah, that's gonna wrap up my hoodie collection, bro. Y'all let me know y'all favorite piece in the comment section below. Yeah. So, that's gonna wrap up today's video. New music on the way, more content on the way. Like, comment, and subscribe. Go to 1K. You feel me? Yeah. I love y'all. See y'all in the next video. Gang.